Hello, 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 my new human family. My name is Oracle Jessie, she, her, hers. I am here for the new humans and the old souls. And the lighting is bad. I'm just realizing this. I don't know why I didn't check these things earlier. That doesn't do any good. Okay. Well, partially it's because it's raining outside. Or gloomy. I don't know. There's moisture in the air. Sometimes it falls from the sky. Not right now, but anyway. So today is going to be a personal update. Today is, I just looked at it, Thursday, January 9th. So you're probably going to get this video today. I'm not, um, I don't have a bank of videos at the moment because I have been sick, but yeah, so, um, I don't quite know what to talk about. Uh, as I mentioned, I have been sick, um, and it started the, um, New Year's Eve, and so I went to the party, and I probably didn't have as much fun as I could have at the party, or I would have if I were feeling 100%. <clears throat> but apparently it's going around or some people are calling it allergies around here but um it's the stuffy nose and a cough so that's what I've got and it's I'm feeling better and better every day today with the rain and the moisture in the air I am going to feel much better I'm, I know that that's going to help me as far as moving some of the stuff out and um, <clears throat> I think I mentioned in a previous video that if you guys have been sticking with my story for a while or watched all my videos, I don't know, whatever, binge watch all my videos, whatever, um, you know that this about this time last year down here in Austin is when I last got sick, so. <coughs> See? Sounds horrible, but I feel better. 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 Anyway, so, yesterday was a very interesting day. The, just, this week has just been magical. I love all of the wonderful things that have happened this week. There's so many fun manifesting stories. There's so many good things. So, the, the universe is just reminding me to relax and allow these things to come to me. And... Even the things I'm a little bit worried about or whatever. I'm just learning to chill out. Because it's more more of whatever it is that I want is coming to me. So, what do I want to talk about? So, when I was working... Um, not yesterday, the day before. Uh, I noticed my brakes probably need done. So, I had been um, avoiding getting my car worked, in, worked on. Because <laughs> um, I've had a gas leak that has been with this car since I was in D.C. with Tom. And... So that needs taken care of, but it doesn't, it doesn't leak if it's half tank. It doesn't leak if it's three quarters tank, even, honestly. So that's what I've been doing is just filling up halfway. If I'm just around town, it doesn't matter. Um, and so I took it there and I said, okay, I need my brakes looked at. And then I have a gas leak I want you to look at. And then it was at like a quarter tank and I told them it usually only leaks when it's full um and I told them about the three quarters thing too and so I get a call and there's and they said yeah you definitely need new brakes it'll be this much but we can't find the gas leak and it um he said uh that he wouldn't he might need me to go fill it up I said okay just yeah give me a call and then um like five minutes later, he called me and he said that this car that I have, 
has an open recall because there's a problem with the computer. <laughs> and I'm laughing. I'm sure some of you guys are going to be laughing too because if Tom had to fix it, you know, it, it, you know, the guy said, yeah, we could fix the part, but it's also a computer problem. So it's going to keep happening if we don't get the computer fixed. But so, <laughs> so now, um, yeah, I got new brakes. Thank you, mom and dad for Christmas. They got me new brakes and they didn't get my, um, my gas leak fixed like they kind of kind of anticipated it to be the gas leak but um now i'm getting my gas leak fixed for free because of the open recall and it's just really really cool to see that <coughs> excuse me guys i'm sorry to see that i am so supported by the universe in a way that yeah they they even thought to check that that is is what's happening is in yeah i haven't even called to get it scheduled yet they told me where to go to get it um get it looked at i figured i'd do that next week but now i know that it's going to be taken care of just like everything else just like everything else and, yeah, I think, um, I do want to talk about, my friend was asking, um, a little bit ago, about some of my, um, morning routine, and so I think I do want to talk about that because I feel like it's relevant now. And I feel excited to talk about it. So if I feel excited, I'm going to talk about it. Um, so my morning routine even since then has changed. Because now I'm realizing the benefits of what I'm doing. So I'm really excited to continue reaping the benefits. So my morning routine is I get up whenever I want because I park in a safe space and other people park there overnight and they don't um the people that excuse me own that p parking lot they don't really they don't really care but um so I get up whenever I want and I <clears throat> start oil pulling I um I use this organic virgin coconut oil not endorsing them or anything that's what I use um, and I take a spoonful in my mouth and swish it around and that is to help remove toxins from your body um, so while I am doing that I listen to Abraham Hicks um, on YouTube mostly and so yeah that's what I do first things first in the morning and I feel like that helps me keep my keep my set point centered in happiness and helps me focus on the direction of where I want to go. Um, yeah. So then, um, recently, because I've been sick, I've been going in and showering, taking a hot shower, also listening to Abraham Hicks, or even taking a book and reading it in the shower while the shower is running and just letting the shower water help loosen all the things up but um <coughs> excuse me with the last couple days I've been shifting it around a little bit and um 
Sorry, I will try to not blow my nose today on video. Anyway, so shifting it around to be, um, also include some journaling. I put it in my bullet journal as success journaling when, um, I don't even know if I want to call it that anymore, but in my journal here, this is my, this is my new journal. I'm so excited. I love it. It's the universe. It's the galaxy. I love it. It's just purple and green and blue and sparklies and, and bright colors. I love it. But in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's love letters to God from God as translated by Oracle Jesse. So, um, yeah, I've just been putting in some intentions. So like Monday, I'll read you a little bit from Monday. There's so much to appreciate. The beautiful, loving people I'm meeting while I'm here in Austin, the awesome food to eat, the beautiful sunrise, so yeah, putting in intentions. And then Tuesday, Tuesday was a very magical day. So Tuesday morning, part of what I wrote was, Dear God, thank you so much for appreciating me, adoring me, and loving me each and every day. Thank you for loving me in such a way that I receive everything I desire. Thank you for co-creating this vibrational universe for me and my friends to play in. Dear God, thank you for loving my loving, healthful, vibrant body that I love so much. Thank you for giving me a body that is beautiful and plays well, plays with others in such wonderful ways. <laughs> thank you for helping me use my body in creative ways on my journey towards my goals and dreams. A little bit of editing here. Dear God, thank you for bringing me an abundance of healthy and delicious foods to enjoy. Thank you for my abundance in high consciousness, friends, family, and tribe. Thank you for my abundance in clarity, channelings, and divine downloads that help me and others along our joyous journeys. Dear God, thank you for giving me impulses along my way to everything I desire. Thank you for helping me enjoy every moment. Thank you for helping me appreciate the small things. Yeah, so like... Tuesday is, how many pages is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. I did seven pages of that. Thank you so much. Love and appreciation. And then yesterday, um, I just tried to continue it. I just wrote, write what I'm inspired to write, honestly. And in a way that all of the good things that I know are in my vibrational reality are in my manifested reality. <coughs> Excuse me. In my manifested physical reality because thoughts themselves are manifestations. So, yeah, it's just been a really good addition to my morning routine and then I go about my day usually I'm um I enjoy going to the restaurant that has the all organic all vegan food um that follows the macro diet yeah all that all that stuff usually I enjoy going there for breakfast um yesterday I did not because I took I took my car and have it get worked on and I was able to find another coffee shop. I don't drink coffee anymore. Even decaf, I don't drink it anymore. Um, but I wasn't able to find a coffee shop that had vegan bagels and vegan cream cheese. And then I went to a little gift shop and I was able to get a little something there. And then um, I found this bookstore that has events that I might want to go to all while my car was getting worked on. So all these things have been happening for me and for a reason and just able to enjoy the process of putting them 
all of them together and watching it happen. And so I guess what I may want to talk about next is um, the RTR and I don't I don't know if I want to go anymore. You know, there's still some reasons why I might want to go. Um, I might want to go to meet new people. I might want to go to meet up with all my friends I met last year. I love you all. I do, I do, I do. And at the same time, I know if we are to meet, it's going to happen anyway. Like, we're, we're not going to not meet on the road again, you know? And, um, because everything's working out for me. But anyway, um, yeah, I just, I don't know if I want to go or if I want to stay here. There's a hundred thousand reasons to stay here, but, um, going and coming back is always an option. Um, but I don't, I don't even know. I don't know if going feels good. And I don't even know if staying here feels good, honestly, because, you know, I feel like maybe I do need a break. Maybe I do need, want to go and explore somewhere. Um, and maybe I could arrange with some friends around here to go like to a hot springs, find a hot springs somewhere nearby and go and have fun at the hot springs or something. Um, but yeah, I don't know if going to the RTR feels good. So I don't do anything that doesn't really feel good, especially something as big of a trip as that. Um, yeah, there's, like I said, there's plenty of reasons to stay, and not too many reasons to go. So... There's that, there's that up in the airness, but I am enjoying my time here. I got my hair cut the other day, I don't know, my friend and I, my friend did it for me, he, they joked that this is a, my speed lines here. Well, I think I said it first, but, and then there's a surprise in the back for everybody who actually sees me in person, but we didn't cut the top off, we just left the top and buzzed it all the way up there. I'm getting the light here. And it feels good. I like it. I got a massage yesterday. That was another part of my Christmas present, partially to myself. But I got a massage, hanging out with some friends. Went to a new place yesterday, too, in the evening. And got myself some lavender mint tea before my massage. Glorious. And it was right on the water. It was right on the water. So I might go back and, um, especially during the daytime, because it was at night when I went, especially might want to go during the daytime just to see what's what. Because I like the water. I've been kind of wanting to explore paddle boarding and people do it around here even in the winter time um explore paddle boarding and people go kayaking too out in the water and so I kind of want to do that um I've never paddle boarded before I think it would be fun I think it would be really really fun so I kind of want to do that <laughs> but I kind of don't want to go by myself I don't know I might there might be plenty of friends to go with. <coughs> Excuse me. So, my laundry's probably done. 
and ready to go to the dryer. Excuse me, I am probably going to go switch it over to the dryer and then 